What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Blue and today's video is going to be a setup video for the broker that I'm using to trade the futures which is Tradeovate. Recently I've been trading paper so once my funds clear I'll be able to go live to start trading and I'm going to do some live trades. So I decided to go ahead and show how I want my live trade set up to look. So if y'all like the setup video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you want to know anything about the platform because it is mainly built around trade and futures. So without further ado, let's get into this setup. Yo, I ain't here for the money. So the first thing you want to do is go into Google and type in Tradeovate and come to their home screen. Now you could go through and look at everything and look at their pricing and everything that you want to know about the platform. This is the price for each side, the trade, 25 cent for micros, 20 cent for small. Or you can be an active trader and pay a lower commission. Or you can just pay $1.99 a month and you'll get free trading all together. Now you need micro. I trade the micro e-minis. So I need to at least I have 50 bucks for margin account. So you can go through all of this stuff if you want to look at and see more about it. But if you want to go ahead and open an account and then follow these steps for, so that you can set up your account and go to register and you fill out everything, you know, if you ever filled out anything for any kind of platform, then you know it's going to ask you about your, uh, a bunch of other questions. But... I'm not going to go through that because I already did it. So we're going to go ahead and go to log in. You can download the platform to your computer if you like. But I'm going to go ahead and go through the web-based one. Which they both look exactly the same. So I have the simulated. You can go into the simulated and set it up and do everything. That's what I've been trading off of. You can go to access market replays so that you can like replay some of the days and do some test out from past days and I'm gonna go ahead and go into live because this is what we about to set up so I've already went in here but that was just to turn off my numbers and stuff up here so that it won't be out there but this is what it looks like when you first open it up now for me, I don't want any of this stuff up here, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete everything so that I can come in and move stuff around the way I want to. So delete that, delete that, delete the chart. Even though I don't have to delete the charts yet, i just rather start from scratch. Now, in order to put the stuff on the screen, everything is up in this add module so you come down you got charts the quote board the dom uh tick string performance center and now you got all of this different stuff down through here so it, it, whatever you want if you tap on it like if you tap on chart it's just gonna bring up oh i didn't even know i had to create a workspace for this so Let's just do this for the micros. And save it. Okay, that's what my workspace, I guess, is going to be called. So now I want to add. And you can drag it anywhere you want. So you put bring it around the screen. Since it's the full screen, you just drop it. 
and you drop the chart in and you got to type in what you what ticker symbol or the futures that you're looking for so type that in and this is the one that they give you in default so you can go through and set up this but I'm gonna go ahead and add every the other stuff that I want first so I want to add another chart so then you hope you got to hold your finger on it to be able to drag it around and everything so I want to add that and then I'm gonna type in the same thing or it's already up here and then hit enter so now I want a Dom so I'm gonna go ahead and bring my Dom in and pull it all the way over here so now we got the Dom over here put it on a ticker and that's what we have for it for t right now so after you do that you can go over here and you can add like your orders your order tickets uh, your positions because you trade off the Dom or you can trade off a uh, uh, where it go let me see if this one is it yeah the order tickets so I usually have it up under over here have this a little bit more over but then you can add the level twos in which is I believe it's the quote board let me see So now we're going to add in the uh my positions which I always I want it up under here so I'm going to add it in here pull this down See now that I got the positions in you can add more stuff and it's just inside where that's at like I got the position I got or I could put orders right here so that any orders and you could just click over to go back and forth between the two you can do it in any of them just tap and it'll be tabbed so if you wanted to add more charts you can add more charts too and you can do the same thing with the Dom so anyways I got the orders I got positions and I also put in the performance center so the performance center keeps tracks of all your PL and your trades throughout the day or you can go into it if you hit this and it'll tell you you can change the date and see over the lifetime that you've been trading and, and it keeps track of everything your win percentage profits all of that stuff so that's why I like it because of that So, put the activity log in here so that you will know everything that you traded. Yeah, that's what that, that is. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and set up my charts. Now up here is where you got all of the stuff that you want to change I already have a template and I just got the 20 and a V WAP and I cleared off the bars and I have volume so I already had that set up but I'm gonna show you on this chart how to do that but I also want it on this where you put your time period in I want the two minute I usually trade off of the two minute and I just go to custom put the two minute in and I save so well this one I usually trade off I have the five minute up so I'm gonna go ahead and put the five minute up 
So over here, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how to how I set it up. I went to you go to moving averages, and you could go to any of them that you like. And I go to the simple, and I want the 20 period. Type in 20 and change the color. It's already got it in as my default. So I then you save, and it'll put it in. Then I want the VWAP. So got to go back. It's gonna be in volume. No, the volume is for the volume. The and I put it down here. I don't want this. So in order to remove that, you go into the little wheel, and you could take off whatever you don't want. So I don't want the parabolic SARS and I don't want the money flow so now I want to add in my other one it's gonna be in here yeah and it at the VWAP <coughs> I got there's the dashes and the yellow as my default so then I save it put the two minute on on this one I said two minutes and hit the save now with this this just push your drop down box you can have it on or you can have it off And you can move it around if you want. You just got to go to the little dots. I usually put it down here so that I can see it. You can use your how your crosshairs on and off. I leave mine on. Here goes your drawing tools that you can use. You can try, change the candles if you like different candles or the bars lines. You know, be it as volume. I didn't even look at that. Oh, okay. I see what that is. And then in this one, this is where I take the lines off at. And you can, I usually have show the fields on because I want to see where I got filled at. Auto chart fit, you know, price action levels. You can enable where it shows your the highs and the, I always have highs and lows for the day on and the open. And you just save it. So it'll tell you what the highs and the lows is for the day. You see the highs, the lows. It hasn't opened yet, so. It's not going to show that. But down here is where you put in. You can put in your order. If you want to put in a more. They have an advanced order. And you just hit this. Where you can put in the OCO and OSO. And you can set up your trailing stop or. And stuff like that that you want on there. Put you can put any of that stuff in. You can go over here, and if you hit turn this bracket on, and you select the OCO order, or you can set up your own OCO orders. If you click on the little wheel that's next to it, and you can turn it on, change, turn the name of the bracket, like say automatic stop. So I want to change it to auto stop out. So you can put it in just the type. You can have a take profit, take profits, stop loss, 
a stop loss or a take profits only so you put in whichever one you want if you want to take profits and stop loss you can put the take profits of two and a stop loss of two this is just how many contracts you want it to be and then you can put in if you want it to be a stop limit trailing stop trailing stop limit or just a stop so me I like to put in just a stop and you can also put in turn this on if you want to have a take profits area that way you can put in the stop and the take profits area at the same time I can't show you the example because the market ain't open but if you just want to take a stop limit just put the stop limit in you can put in your profit and your stop if you want to add more brackets to it you just hit this well not that one but where it go yeah this one so you can have two targets and you can put in both targets and both stops and everything so this would be the stop and then you put in a stop uh, trigger the profit trigger but I want to remove that one and you could take the profit trigger and you just hit save so whenever you put in your order it'll show well it's not gonna let me do it because I'm not live yet but it'll show on here and if you turned it on on here it'll show on there too that's why I turned it on when I went into here to show my fields and oh I like to have this on too so that it'll have a line right here at the last price level but you can have that set already so that every time you enter an order it already be in you can add more of them to it if you want or less but I just remembered this one wasn't it wasn't a quote board the quote board is just showing you can put in different quotes that you want to be able to keep track of and you can if you hit the little circle up here you can connect them all with a color which I'm gonna throw all mine to red okay so this was the wrong one I ain't want to put that one in it was this tick stream the tick stream is the one you can add it down there but you if you hit X it'll bring it up here select and this gonna be your time and sales basically and turn that red to and you can make it it won't let you size it no more but that's how I do that but I usually have this smaller so I can have more of this chart and less it is because I don't trade as much off of this as I do off of the two minute chart so I use the dominance to all my trades I had this set to two already and then if you come up here this was all where all your settings and stuff at if I open it it's gonna have my account number in it so I don't want to open that but it's got a few features over here to the side if you have trades and stuff over here oh shit I gotta cut that part anyways that's how I want my stuff set up if you like the content on the setup hit that like button and leave a comment don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and we'll see you all when the markets open back on Tuesday later